sorry I'm late. The bike broke down a few miles back. Start of something big, Sentenza. With all that money, we can finally go wherever we want. Do whatever we want to do. That bag of money was my biggest catch. I'm your biggest catch. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. That was my easiest catch. Why is that? I, I cut the coke I sold to Cachillo. It's not actually worth half of what I sold it for. Please, tell me you are kidding. Not. I'm sick of doing the same small deals again and again. It was my chance to finally make enough money for both of us. Russ, he was crazy about that stuff. I had to do it. What if he found out? But he won't. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. I'll try some of it, yeah. Just a little bit. Sell the most of it. And by the time he finds out, if he does find out, then... I will be far, far away and never coming back. I don't know, John. I have a bad feeling about this now. You always have a bad feeling, Sentenza. You don't need to worry ever again. Okay? It's because I care about you and I know you. You always get in trouble just for some money. It's not that important to me. But it is. I'm sick of having no money. I love you, babe. Can we live from love? all good. Just trust me. I do it too. I do. So, tell me, Sentenza, where do you want to go? Where is your dream? You are my dream. <laughs> sure. What comes after? Where would you always like to go? Always to the sun. wrong with the product? Oh, yeah. There's something wrong with the product. Good. He's not dead yet. Prepare everything.
something after all they've done to you who they were did you see them before why did they kill your husband what did they look like anything I can't remember I don't understand don't you want us to find them are you afraid did they tell you not to talk are they coming back? They all say that. You are safe now. Those sons of a bitch are out there just waiting to get busted. Do you have to help me? I can't help you. I've never seen them before. How many were they? Three guys. They came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. I understand. What about John? Did he maybe know who they were? Any possibility that they ever met? No, they didn't know, no. All right. I think that's enough for today. You should get some rest. I understand your position, Miss. Uh, just if you know something or if you remember anything, please let us know. I'm afraid I have to annoy you with more questions anyway, very soon. Hmm?
even though it doesn't bring you back to life. I will take revenge. I promise. I will find out where they are. And I will kill them. One by one. Hello again. Hello. I was just wondering how you are. You haven't talked to us since almost a week. There's nothing to say, officer. I lost my husband. If I would know anything that could you help you find those guys, I would tell you. I'm sure you would. But there are small details that you may not think they are helpful, but they can be a big help. Like the three men you said, you never met them, I know, and I believe you. But was there anything characteristic? Any obvious things about the look? Did they call each other names? No, they didn't. Just three average men between 25 and 35. They came on motorbikes. Here we go. Motorbikes. You see? That's what I mean. This could be an important lead. Did they look like a motorbike gang to you? Did they dress like a gang with, you know, patches and stuff? Just three random guys on motorbikes. I'd never seen them before. They were a low guys. They were probably just rising from under bikes and are far away from here. Like. Maybe. Or maybe not. Three men on motorbikes appear out of nowhere, almost like ghosts, just to rape you and kill your husband. It seems so random and unreasonable. And why didn't they just kill you too? I don't know. And I don't like thinking about it either. I understand. Uh, I don't like the thought of losing my wife either. But sometimes I do ask myself, what would I do in a situation like this? I am a cop. But if my wife would get raped and slaughtered, I don't know if I would still work like a cop. <clears throat> you know, I always ask my wife for her opinion. She probably solved more cases than I did. She's not even a cop. Anyway, I asked her what she would do if three men would rape her and kill me. And she said, with all that anger inside, I would get myself a gun and kill those bastards one by one. <sighs> one by one. And my wife is a lovely, very kind person. But I think that anger is like love, hate or money. It can transform people. It makes them rise and fall. Wise words, officer. Did you learn that at the police academy? My wife always says that too, when I become smart as I'm sorry I drifted away with my mind. Well, then it looks like there are no more questions to ask. Seems your lovely wife can solve this case too. Hope her theory is wrong this time. Is there anything else, officer? Uh, that's all. Thank you very much for your time, Sentenza. Uh, Sentenza, is that it? Italian. Oh yeah, of course. My wife loves Italy. Well, Sentenza, uh, mille grazie and arrivederci. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Um, what? Did you ever heard of a man calling himself Cuchillo? No. I 
never heard of him. Not so. Never mind. Later, Signora. What you up to? I'm waiting for my man. Your man? Tell me about him. Does he have a big cock? Go mind your own business. You just became my business. Have a safe ride. Watch out. What's that all about, Cuchillo? Why did you just let it go? Two reasons. Reason one. Business first. Reason two. I feel like going for a good old hand again. A can hand. <laughs> It's not my fault. And I didn't know about these fucking creeps. Yeah. No, See I where didn't. and there. Please shut up. Don't fucking shut up me. And I don't want to get stuck in here either. I don't get why you are not buying a new car anymore. This is not the first time. No, no. Why don't you get your own car, honey bunny? Fuck you.
fix it or not? Of course I can fix it. I mean, I, I hope so. I hope so too. And hurry up. I told you for a bus driver. Don't shout at me. Well, then don't, don't yell at me all the time. The more you complain, the longer it takes. Okay, you know what? Take your fucking time. I will leave you on your fucking car alone. Would you do that favor to me? Fuck you! Now watch out for creepy bikers! What do you want? Where's the bitch? Oh! There you are! I've missed you already. What the fuck are those guys in here? They're here for you, right? You can have her! All of her! I don't mind! A girl like her doesn't, doesn't give a shit for, of anything, you know? Just let me go, I won't say a word to anyone. Listen, man. Back to the restaurant. I just had a small chat with that horny kind of girlfriend of yours. Just a small chat. And then you came along playing the hero in front of your girlfriend. And you pushed me. You laid hands on me, you piece of shit! You started that! I'm a fair man! You know! Sorry about that. I don't, I don't care if you flirt with, with her. I was a stupid at the restaurant. Fine. I think she can, she can help you forget about you. About this situation, you know, she, she does a really good, you know. <laughs> Fucking bastard! What are you talking about? You covert! You should kill him! He impressed you at the restaurant! He's the one you should kill! <laughs> so we have some fucking love here, my friends! <laughs> Come on, guys! What do you want from me? I think you can give her quite more about her. <laughs> Just let me go, I won't say anything to anyone. You know? <laughs> already said that.
imagine it here, guys. It will make even more than when in California. We're surprised no one ever found the money. We've been hiding me for ages. <laughs> Those robberies and rapes off. I'm gonna miss that place. You don't like that place at all, beginning. Hide here. I told you it would be the perfect hideout, didn't I? Didn't I? It's getting serious now, guys. Big bags are waiting for us. All we gotta do is give all our money to my friend in Mexico. And he will give us enough cheat to make us rich. I promise. That's the time we make it to you. We were betrayed by that job. Because he was just a fucking amateur who tried to fuck us. I already miss his wife, though. Me di cuenta que esa perra era su tipo, jefecito. Yeah. But also the girl of the restaurant today. Hmm. Actually, all the kinds are my type. You said the fat ones, they're just disgusting. <laughs> Are you finished? Yeah. And uh, let's roll. It's gonna be a hard ride. Does that hurt? Why are you doing this? Shoot me! Shoot me! Shoot you? Yeah, I can do it. Antos can do it. Even Ryder can do it. Good old hole in the forehead. Oh, just met Cochino. Especially because you are a pig. No, no. I'm gonna slaughter you no. like what you are. Let's finish with officer Santos. No, 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 Which way did they go? Through the mountains. Please release me.
nice place to stay for the night. Why aren't we riding through? We had a long ride, man. And tomorrow we'll have a high ride too. Let's ride to be. Mm, yeah, me too. Let's stay here for the night. Can't sleep all at the same time, you know. You might have to stay awake and wake the bikes. Right then, you start. All right. Just watch out for the next two hours, then wake up Santos. We live early in the morning anyway. Together, guys. We have a long ride today. Do you have some water left, brother? You already wasted yours. Here. I don't drink it all. We have a long ride today. What the fuck? I need empty too. It's fuck! What the hell happened last night? So who of you son of bitches is trying to fuck with me and the money? Brother! You tell me what happened last night when you were supposed to watch the bikes, you fucking idiot. You're no good to you. Estuve toda la noche vigilando, ¿por qué no pregunta Santos? Fuck you, Ryder, you didn't even wake me up. Ryder, you better tell me what the fuck happened. Ok, de acuerdo, me quedé dormido. Me senté un momentito y me dormí. Disculpen. You fell asleep. How do I know you are not lying and you had the money somewhere? I swear, cuchillo. Un momentito me dormí, pero no pasó nada, estaba todo bien. Te vio que mi tanque estaba vacío también. ¿Por qué iba a hacer eso? Maybe you have another one. You want to rip us off. Could kill us while we're sleeping. That's true. I guess you are just one fucking idiot. Don't you fucking sleep. Come on! Took the money! Wasted all our water! Put all the gas of our tanks! But they didn't fucking kill us! Pareció ver algo. What? Sí. Recuerda cuando me preguntó si todo estaba bien. Y 
Was it? Right. Sí. Todo estaba bien. Pero me pareció ver algo. La oscuridad fue como una sombra. No le di importancia. Usted sabe que cuando se mira la oscuridad durante mucho tiempo, pues se ven cosas. No, I don't know, Ryder, because I don't sleep with the fucking eyes open, like you do. So, are you telling me to so show someone you didn't do a shit? You didn't even mention that. Even when I asked you, everything was all right! Solo durante un segundo, no era real, cuchillo. You better it's real. I will find it. And takes what belongs to us. And if it's not real, I'll kill you. Is that real enough for your fucking brain? No se preocupe, jefe, lo recuperaremos todo. Just keep your eyes open and you fucking mouth shut, Ryder! What about the money and the tanks anyway? Who knows about it? Only us. Guards wouldn't take the money and let us leave. It looks more like... Someone is playing kind of a game with us. Now we'll find it. You hear me? I'll find you! Cuchillo. Oh. Parece que era real. The hell is that? Is that a woman? What to find out? No, Santos. Our sleepy hair rider will find out. I have the chance to walk you out. Don't fuck you up again. I won't bat. Porque no vamos todos, es mucho más fácil. You fuck it up, you go. And now move. Tell me, Cuchillo, why did you let him go along? Because I'm a fair man. And I don't let you get in kill because why they've been stupid little fuck. Would be safer if we all go together. Looks like you sacrificed him for the money. It's your money too. That's true. Then look again! any sense. Turns the situation more dangerous for us. Whoever did that doesn't give a shit about dollars. I have nothing to lose. Why nothing to lose? What can you lose when you don't give a shit about dollars? It's not always about the money, Cuchillo. Well, right now it is. You could be dead. All of us. The money worth when you don't even live. And what's living worth without money? It took us a lot of time to collect all that money. We're gonna take it back. Plus, you're just grew. That's good. You have to stay positive. What should we do? And the Phantom! I'm fucking right, Santos. Let's hand a Phantom and take our money back. But for that, we need to split. Split? We get killed one by one. And if not, we get killed all in one. Either way, you kill. Look at me. You kill. Or you get killed. And we will kill. Hell yeah. To split that. Look, 
What now? Undress. Not tough women, only soft men. <laughs> 